So now we finally got the 4000 KV version of the RCX 1304 on the bench. At this KV, we're looking at it on 3S. And while overall what we're looking at here doesn't look all that bad, unfortunately it doesn't quite hold up uh, against what we've seen from the uh, 5000 KV version. The slope of the torque curve we're getting out at full throttle looks pretty nice, and we're only seeing a little tiny bit of fall off under heavy load. It's only impacting us on the uh, the heavy 3044 uh, calculation, but overall it looks like it handles the heat of the load pretty well. Uh, for the 3044, we're estimating about 224 grams of thrust. The 3020, we're seeing about 228. On our 2-inch uh, bi-blade, we're seeing about 169 grams, and then on our very light 2-inch uh, prop, 110 grams of thrust. In terms of prop matching, um, as you would expect, it would be the same as the uh, 5000 kV. Our uh, heavy 2-inch and 2.5-inch uh, props are uh, right down through the middle, and so probably slightly too light of a load to get the best efficiency out of it. The heavy 2.5-inch and a 3-inch bi-blade falling right about where we want them to uh, for efficiency, and then our heavy 3-inch load still not doing too bad. We're only down into the 4 uh, 40% efficiency zone on that, and that's before unloading. And because we're dipping into that zone only at the very high end of uh, the loading, and you see our 50% um, efficiency zone is quite uh, far over, it's quite wide uh, down here in the uh, mid to lower area of the power band, so we are going to be in decent efficiency uh, through much of the uh, torque requirements for this prop, um, but we're still not going to be down uh, at the 70% uh, area uh, that an ideal matchup would get us. However, if we compare it with the efficiency of the 5000 kV version of the motor, you can see that we're kind of losing like almost one band uh, in a lot of these areas where here we're at 60% uh, efficiency. Uh, on the 5000 kV version, we're dipping down um, into uh, the 70s. And because we're getting even higher power, we're only at the very, very top of the 60% uh, high 60% uh, percent efficiency. Um, on, on the full throttle there, and uh, here we're getting less power for it, and we're definitely in the middle of the 60% efficiency band um, for these props on the 4000 kV. So unfortunately for this case, if you're looking for the best efficiency, the 4000 kV is not really uh, the best option there. We're seeing uh, better efficiency overall, not massively, within 10%. Within uh, and uh, in many cases, probably more like five, like uh, down here uh, in its 50% zone, or on the 4000 kV, this is a large 50% zone. We're just sneaking into the 60% uh, on the 5000 kV. Um, but all the same, we definitely have a, a difference here in favor of the 5000. If we look at the uh, torque curves of full throttle, uh, comparing the 4000 and 5000 kV, as you would expect, the uh, 5000 kV here is the one on the top, We're getting more torque uh, and power out of that higher kV motor for the same uh, throttle value, and the uh, slope of that torque curve um, very much the same as you would also expect from them being the same stator and uh, otherwise the same design. In terms of heating, they are also seem to be handling it uh, pretty much the same. The 4000 kV dropping ever so slightly more, uh, you do have to say. Uh, at the top, it looks like it's uh, suffering uh, due to the heat a little more, and that may just be to its slightly lower efficiency. Uh, and you can also kind of get a sense here for where these efficiency bands, this uh, section down here, this is uh, noise uh, where this is not, uh, we're not really getting this high of efficiency at this high in RPM. Um, uh, so that's just a noise in the reading that's giving us that false reading. Um, but you can see down here, once it's stabilized, uh, you know, where we have, you know, this crossover from the 60 to 70 percent uh, efficiency band just shy of 40,000 RPM on both motors. But of course, since the higher KV one is pushing us a higher peak, um, that is coming uh, at a higher load than we're getting on the uh, 4,000 KV. If we compare the efficiency with our reference Emacs 4500 KV 1106, the uh, 1106 is also uh, 
beats it out on efficiency in many uh, many of the zones. Our 50% zone is pretty close. Uh, you have to say down here, uh, you know, our little, our kind of end of the zone is right about in the same place. Uh, it's only slightly um, less efficient on the Emacs we're looking at here under very light loads at uh, partial throttle. At higher RPMs, it's sort of uh, medium loads though. The Emacs is capable of getting higher peak efficiency uh, than we are getting out of that RCX. And if we compare the uh, full throttle curves on those, uh, you can see just how closely uh, these two motors perform. In this case, the Emax is the one on the top. Um, it having a slightly higher KV, we're still seeing that increase in peak power from that. But you can also see how much better, uh, even though the efficiency of this 1304 is not quite as great as uh, on the higher KV version, um, it's still handling the heat better. And we're seeing a lot more drop off from heat from that 1106. Six. And just as comparing the 5000 kV 1304 uh, with the Emax 1106, you see the torque, the uh, slope of the torque curves at full throttle is very close. So overall, these are going to perform very similarly um, in terms of how fast uh, the motor will accelerate and what sort of thrust you're going to get out of them.